What's up guys, welcome back to another video. If you haven't seen already on the socials, we are taking the AU Falcon drifting on Friday the 9th of December. It's gonna be the first time I've ever taken the AU Falcon uh, drifting on a main track. I am pretty dang nervous, but um, I think it's, we've got to that stage where I need to progress. Uh, I've done enough skid pan days. My boss. All right, all right, all right. So, as you saw in one of the previous videos, we did get some uh, stockies, and that is because I don't want to be driving uh, in and out of the track with skidders, otherwise that'll look a little bit. And just this morning, we picked up uh, some tires for the AU. So we have six freshies. I decided to get some freshies because at the last drift event, I got uh, six secondhand tires and they didn't really last me that long. I ran through all of them within the span of a few hours and Lachlan with his Sylvia making more power than the AU Falcon, he only went through one set. He was using these tires, Saloon tires. Yeah, we're gonna be running a 205, 60, 15 tire. I think I've got another 205, 57, 16. Um, yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. We have also ordered a cage for the AU. You might have seen that in a previous video. You may have seen in one of the other videos that I'm having a little bit of a weird issue with the front right wheel. Um, for some reason, it's wobbling and at a really high speed, it's it's worrying because the whole steering wheel vibrates and I don't want that to cause a problem on track. So we're gonna be jacking this car up and we're gonna be double checking all the suspension, the tie rod arms and all that because I don't wanna have a single issue with this thing on the main track. We are running a pretty crazy layout, I've been told. It's run the wall layout. So if I do make a mistake or if the car breaks, then we will be going straight into the wall. So I don't really want that to happen. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna put the AU Falcon inside the garage. Uh, we're gonna move the patrol out and have a sauce. We've got the AE Falcon jacked up now and I'll show you the problem that I've been having. So the front driver's side wheel, none of the suspension components are moving now. There is just play coming from the rack. Um, I've had some comments in the other videos saying that it could be the wheel bearing. It is not the wheel bearing because it doesn't move with the arm. I've had wheel bearings go before and if I have replaced them, it is definitely not the wheel bearing. There's just some play in the rack. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the wheel off, probably take the boot off the rack to see if it's loosened or something like that. But yeah, it doesn't seem right. <laughs> So just to show you that it's not the wheel bearing, you can see if I wiggle this up from the top, it doesn't do anything. If I wiggle it from the side, nothing. But if I really push in it, it's moving the entire arm just as one unit. And I can see that in a tie rod slash out of tie rod moving in and out. So I think that our problem is coming from that. There might be just some slack in the steering rack that's a little bit normal. I'm pretty sure Nauki gets the same uh, problem where there's a little bit of vibration at a high speed. But just to make sure that uh, the tie rod is tight, I'm going to take the boot off and just triple check everything. So I figured out the issue. It's somehow the inner tie rod ball joint. Um, little backstory, instead of getting uh, just one extended tie rod on one side, I decided to get another extended rack arm and space out the drive side because I wasn't too fond of the idea of having spaces pushing out um, that tie rod and having less thread onto the rack. So I decided to get an extended arm on the driver's side as well. So Peter's gonna wiggle the hub. Yep, go for it. Less, less. So you can see right there, the rack actually isn't moving at all, but the ball, the, oh shit. You can see the ball joint is going in and out of its socket and that is not ideal. Unfortunately, we are not gonna be able to order one in time uh, before Friday because it's currently Wednesday. So I am just gonna run it. I'm just gonna put one in order now. So the next event, we can have one that's not vibrating like crazy. All right. All right guys, we're in the chaser now. We're just heading to get some oil for the AU Falcon because the oil is black already from the drift event that we last went to. I freaking love this car. Holy shit. Weather's really good today. Um, it's just uh, a little bit windy, but other than that, listen to this thing. Oh, I can hear a bit of a boost leak, which is annoying, but other than that, not bad. Alright guys, we're back at home now. We're gonna do an oil change, a little service on the car and make sure everything is good. Before we go to the drift day, I'm gonna jack up the back of the car too to just make sure all the suspension bushings are okay because last time I jacked the car up, 
uh, we had brake failure in the back and also one of the bushings on the arms were really bad. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna go ham and uh, see what happens. But yes, oh, I'll show the oil that we got too. I decided to go 10W40 instead of my usual 10W30 uh, just because I wanna try some thick oil in the thing to see if it blows blue smoke or not. So this is what we're gonna be running, some 10W40 synthetic Penrite oil. And I got myself a massive SR20 oil sump worth size of an oil filter right here. I need a garage with more space. You have some sense in your nostrils. I don't think all those pops and crackles would have helped the oil. It's just dumped a lot of fuel into the oil and it's properly black now. Wappa! Oh, this is how I open oil filter. Get that up, yeah. <laughs> What's up, Ashley? Who? <laughs> oh, look. Old character unlocked. Look, it's an Ash Who. Hello there. <laughs> What's going That's on? a big oil filter you got there. Long time no see, bro. Hmm? How you been? Been alright. What happened to your hair? What it's happened? Not to blonde it? anymore. Hey, no, 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 no. This one here. Let me right there. Ooh, sexy boy. What is it? It's shit. What is it? It's actual poo. What do you mean? You got poo. The bird. You know the bird? That bird. That, that <laughs> you guy. have poo on your ear. The bird shit on you. What do you mean? Oh yeah, get it in there. Oh sniff, yeah, sniff. rub it in. Moisturize. Sniff, sniff. Gotta let it run. All right, we're just moving the ear falcon now because there's one thing that I forgot to do. I cut the ABS wire when I was installing the external wastegate and um, I never put it back, so I gotta quickly do some wiring. I've just got the Air Falcon now jacked up. Um, we're gonna drain the oil before the tune tomorrow and we're also going to get ready for draining on the petrol because we need to put ethanol in this thing before it goes to Brad at Dalmore Dino. I also need to, yeah, do the wiring, which I talked about just before. We're gonna go over one last check with everything, make sure all the clamps are tight for the intercooler and um, yeah, go from there. Go for a skid session, rims all good. Hey guys, it's been a really, really long week for me. A um, little bit of context for you. The AU Falcon is going drifting today in today's time. We're taking it to a Keep It Read event and we are installing a cage. And I don't have the key for it, so I gotta go upstairs. All right. Helps now that I have the right key. Well, here it is, guys. <laughs> So yesterday we picked up a cage, well Lachlan picked up a cage from AGI because I was getting my ear falcon tuned. So you'll see that in a, in a video to come, but Lachlan picked up a cage uh, that came from AGI in Sydney that, that took two days to post, which was pretty crazy. I did pay a premium to get it chipped here in time, but I was only notified about going to keep it read like a week and a half ago, so it was pretty hard to plan and everything, but we got it. We got it. And yesterday we installed it, but we didn't drill the holes. So today what we're gonna do is just drill the holes um, and get it ready for the drift day. It fits in there absolutely perfectly. We do have to delete these rear seats, but that's okay. I'm very scared to properly bolt this down. I don't know, I don't know why, but yeah, we're gonna put the rear seats in. We're gonna properly bolt down the front seats because we have to remove those to get the cage in. Jack the car up in the air and uh, start drilling away. All right, guys, so what we're doing now is we're just putting all the seats back in the front uh, because I have to take them out to get the cage in and we're going to roll the car in, jack the back of it up because that's what the instructions say. Then we need to drill holes into the firewall. The cage isn't sitting entirely flush the way I'd like it to, but I'm hoping that once we get the bolts on there, we can just screw them in really tight and it'll sit flat and we'll just force it into place. But honestly, right now, it looks like it's in a pretty good position. Uh, I couldn't really get it any more perfect than that. All right, so we just went to start drilling and you're not going to believe this, guys. My drill battery entirely died like my drill battery completely died completely good dead done this does not work anymore it's currently um it's getting pretty close to the the drift day now but yeah what the hell whoa whoa bit of a, a mess around but we did it it's pretty uh, crazy how when you bolt it up, it actually it actually pulls the body up 
into where the cage um, sits so it like bends the body this floor right here was like going down but now with the bolts tightened the floor is like lifted up very excited for the drift event um, i'm gonna have to end it here but i really appreciate all of you for watching the daily vlogs we missed one day so far it's been a, uh, a journey but it's definitely um really fun to do i really am enjoying these daily vlogs this is some pretty raw content so i hope you guys are enjoying it as well it sort of gives you like a better of an understanding of how like hectic things can be um especially when trying to prepare your car for an event and also tune another car and also just have too many cars <laughs> but yeah thank you guys so much for watching today's video appreciate you all i'll see you in the next one catch gotcha. ya